Ah, there you are. Welcome to Wales Weekly. Follow me. Right, come in. This little studio will do. Just, just sit down over here. Here, you, ah, you have a chair there. That's great. Okay, well, I called you all here because I thought it was about time that I actually did some blogging myself. I mean, you know, writing is okay, but it doesn't actually, it doesn't help us communicate with each other, does it really? So I thought I would try and do this once a week or see what sort of response we get. And, and you could email me back here at the website lbc.co.uk or you could tell your friends to join us and have a little look. And who knows if it works well, maybe in the weeks to come, I could build it up. I could do a couple of interviews in here or something like that. Well, this is the smaller studio that we sometimes use. We don't always use this one. Sometimes in there through that window is where I do my daily drive time show from. Now, looking back to last week, what was, um, what was so interesting last week? Well, there are all sorts of things you never know. I don't know where this week is going to go, really. I've just come back from a fairly exciting weekend. On Friday night, I hosted uh, a, a Burns Night Do for uh, Help a Capital Child, which was all right. It was okay, apart from some of the drunken people who were uh, unable to focus on what was going on. We raised, I think, we raised in excess of £80,000 uh, for uh, Help a Capital Child, so that was good. Thank you. So, what are we going to do this week? I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. In fact, come in and can you come in a bit closer? Come just a little bit closer. That's it, because I have actually always taken a really good close up on TV. The closer, the better, actually. Well, when I say the closer, but so, sort of that, all right, not that. Now, uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm concerned, and a lot of people, a lot of people, I think, share my concerns with this so called peace camp at Parliament Square. Now, I've just driven around Parliament Square and had a look at it. I have to tell you, it is about the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It is so appalling that whatever message they're trying to get across is completely lost. It now looks like a Dossers paradise. And I'm, I don't know, I just, I want it cleared up tomorrow. I do not understand why Westminster City Council, why the police, why we can't just say to people, I'm sorry, vagrancy is wrong. There are people sleeping now. It is just after three o'clock on a Monday afternoon and there are people sleeping on the street under pieces of plastic. There's no demonstration there. There's nobody shouting out slogans. There's no, they're sitting in tents. No, they're sitting in squalor. They're blocking the pavement and nobody's doing anything about it. Something must be done. Now, you might disagree. You might think people should be allowed to demonstrate and should uh, be allowed to go and make protests wherever they want. Well, I agree with that. But I don't agree that people should just be able to doss on our streets as long as they want to. They are an eyesore. You know, I don't agree with the war in Iraq. I don't agree with the war in Afghanistan for all kinds of reasons that we discuss on our program. But I don't want to see those people sitting there looking as if they haven't had a decent bath for months, maybe years. We have to find some way of giving people the right to demonstrate, but not allowing people to abuse their position. So if you have any ideas, email me here at the website, and maybe we'll go through those next week. Now, my idea is to sort of do this once a week, and if it gets successful, and if you seem to uh, come and have a little look and get in touch with me, maybe we'll do it more often. Maybe you could suggest some of the topics you want my opinion on. It may be that I could give you my opinion slightly more than I could on air. You never know. I have to be very careful. I'm supposed to be fairly polite here. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. I'm doing this evening with James Whale at the Radlett Centre on February the 5th. Nice evening. It's a Saturday night. Come along to Radlett. I think it's in Hertfordshire. I've been there before. It was a year ago, but I think I can remember where it is. I'll try and flog you a copy of my book. I always do that talk about me. It's one of my favourite subjects. And then in the second part, after we've all had a good drink together, I'll take questions. So if you fancy a night out, join me in an evening with me at the Radlett Centre. I can't do that on the radio. It's like, a, it's like an advert. Hey, mate, I'll tell you what I could do. If, if you've got something you're doing, maybe I could give you a plug. I won't do them all, but, you know, send one in. You're doing something funny. I could, um, 
I could mention it. Now, I'm just uh, getting to the time where I have to go off and do my trail, where I do a little bit of a chat with Petri. Uh, so if you'll, if you'll forgive me, I'll, I'll say goodbye now, but at four o'clock, every weekend, every weekend, every weekday afternoon, four o'clock here on LBC, James Wales Drive, make sure you join me. And listen, if you're not a regular listener, please give me some feedback, tell me what you think about the show. And if you are a regular listener, could you tell other people to tune in as well? In fact, could you actually go, and if you know somebody with a radio, retune it to 97.3 LBC if it's not already tuned that way. So you stay, listen, you stay, have a look around the studio, what there is to look at, and, um, and I'll catch you on the radio at four.